So two days ago, I got a very frantic call from a close friend. And the call was about his young son. And he was traumatized because he had finally gone to the pediatrician who had said that the child needed surgery for something we call undescended testis. And I just thought that today we'll talk about this because it's a very important condition as regards fertility. So keep watching. My name is Dr. Wanjiro Ndegwa and you're watching Footsteps to Fertility. So today we're going to be discussing undescended testis. And what this means, simply put, is that the testis is not in the scrotum. Every man has two testis and they are positioned in the scrotal sac um, right before birth. So during the uteral stage, when the baby is in the uterus, what happens for the male child is that the formation of the testis it occurs in the in the abdominal cavity of the baby and just before birth they descend down and are held within the scrotum and the canal that pushes them down or where they come from closes and therefore they can't keep going up and down they must stay in the scrotal sac so what happens sometimes is that they are not um, they do not come down so for some babies you find that the testes are still within the abdomen or they're in between the abdomen and the scrotum under the skin somewhere. It's called an in, in the inguinal area. Or they could be playing around. There are some that move up and down, up and down. Sometimes it's one testis that could be moving up and down or could be in the inguinal area or could be in the abdomen. And sometimes it's both of them. Why does this happen? We, we're not too sure why this happens, that the scrotum doesn't come out. But one of the two reasons that it could is one, if the baby is born earlier than, than normal. So if you have a premature boy child, sometimes because the scrotum has not fully formed and the testis has not come down, you will find that they have an undescended testis. Also, sometimes it's hereditary. So those are the two factors that could cause it that we know about. So how do I know that it's there? Usually, if you have a pediatrician who receives your baby, it's very simple. They check, they're supposed to do a full checkup, and at that point, they check that both the testes are down. And if they're not down, they will inform you, and sometimes you get a consult from a surgeon just to reassure you. Nothing usually is done at birth. So after birth, to around three to six months, and even up to nine months, we can observe whether the testis goes down. So for some children, it actually just goes down and stays down and we're okay. But for other children, it doesn't go down. And therefore, if you have a child with an undescended testis, it's really important to continue going for follow-up at your pediatricians. Because if around nine months, the testis has not descended and is not put, or if at nine months the testis keeps going up and down, which it could, it could be playing around and going up and down, surgery must be done. And I want to especially um, talk to the fathers because the fathers are the ones who are more worried. It's not a surgery that will harm the baby. It's actually extremely important. The surgery entails um, positioning the testis at the right position and kind of attaching it to a part in the scrotum therefore it won't keep going up and down definitely please do not extend um, with this condition past the age of two and the reason is that there are two um, very important reasons that we want the scrotum in the scrotal sac one of the reasons is infertility which is where i i lie if the scrotum keeps going up and down in the abdomen what happens is that the temperatures are not right and sometimes what it does is that it um, it, uh, it affects the process of spermatogenesis which is the process where sperm are formed and you will, we do find that later in life there'll be no sperm formed from that testis and therefore the man has no sperm so this is one really important point if you don't get anything else please please mothers check that your boys have the testis down. It's really important for your future grandchild. Another point is that it does increase the risk of testicular cancer. Having your testis in the wrong place 
changes the temperatures and it is thought that that effect could increase the chances of having testicular cancer later in life. So it's really important for us as mothers and for the doctors to check your child and ensure that the testis is in the right place. So if you have, if you've checked your child and they have undescended testis, or if you're ma a man who is older and you realize that you don't have one testis, and that's um, seen by one of the scrotal areas being less um, full than the other, please go see a urologist because something needs to be done about it. I hope this video was helpful. So if you're a mother who has a boy child, please check. And if you're a mother who has a friend who has a boy child, please share this video. Please feel free to comment, please subscribe. We want you to be empowered. And if you're a man who has this problem, please see a urologist and feel free to get in contact with us and we can send you in the right direction. I'm Dr. Wanjiro Ndagwa and you're watching Footsteps to Fertility where we walk with you.